what can you attribute to the most that elevated you to to make that jump? So right before that season, I worked out with Kobe actually to stay on the Kobe track. And uh, I hit him up and I think I was one of the first to, to work out with him post-retirement and um, worked out with him for three days and which was awesome. But then from then on, you know, he was, he was kind of like in my corner and he taught me more than anything and just the mentality. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's talked about it before, but mm -hmm. I think that's what really took me to the next level was, was that mentality. Um, just a confidence, just, uh, um, you know, we were really trying to do something in Utah that year mm -hmm. and it had been probably three years of us kind of like a core group together. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and so it all kind of just came together, but I would honestly, I would say, um, because the prior seasons, I think I was right around, r still right around like 20 points a game, like still doing well. But I think the, just having him, I mean, he would send me text messages after games and we would chop up film. And mm -hmm. so I think just having that mentality is kind of what took me to. What was, what was the level. initial conversation there? Like, Hey, Cole, I'm, I'm trying to get better. Like I'm, I know yeah, that was. So a, honestly, this is what like, happened. What exactly is, I was, were you trying I was, to... I was at my boy's wedding in Newport and Kobe had just retired and we were just sitting there talking like me and the fellas and I and it was mentioned that he lived around that area and I was like man like how would it like wouldn't it be dope like if I could work out with Kobe and we're just talking about like yeah bro like you should hit him up you should hit him up and now I'm getting like nervous like I'm texting a girl yeah. or something <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean so I got hit his name yeah I'm like a couple words, yeah, like, a words. what do you think about this what do you think this is, is this good <laughs> but <laughs> Real talk, I got his number um, and sent him a text message that was like, hey man, like I would love to get in the gym with you and work for two or three days. I can come to you for however much time, any time that you could give me. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I want to get better and I want to learn from you. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it was like that, the situation where you're like looking at your phone, like waiting, like <laughs> waiting to see who's <laughs> texting me. And I remember my mom texting me like, God damn it, mom. Like, <laughs> All excited. I'm not uh, waiting for your text message. Do you still got them text messages? I have, I don't have the text messages, but I have the emails. So anyway, so then he hit back like, yeah, bro, I would love to, let's do it. Um, I'm in town X days, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we ended up setting it up. And when I was done with the three days with them, I had him send me all of his workouts that he would do in the summers, like his weight workouts, his track workouts, his shooting workouts. And he wrote the whole thing down in an email and sent it. And I think at the end he said, uh, I know it's a lot of shit, but if you're not trying to be the best, then what the fuck are you playing for? Mm -hmm. Wow. And that was the way he ended it. In I need Kobe. that email because I'm trying out next year. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. Dang. And I definitely dope, still have bro. that email. That's yeah, dope. that's dope. Which is really that's, cool. Man, so I was it, was I love the, the favorite. The ending part was my favorite. I don't even care what he said. <laughs> I know. All the other stuff. Was it the the crazy 3 a.m., 4 a.m. workout? Oh, there was, it was uh, three a day workouts for sure. And yeah. if you weren't up at 3 a.m., there's no way you're doing them. I mean, I was, I was like, I was hyped obviously after those three days. And so I went back to Indy actually. Uh, I was visiting family before going back home. And um, I did the morning workout of one of the days <laughs> and it was all his workouts were are all like makes like it's like one dribble one two left right jump shot make you're making 15 of them and then going to the right doing the same thing and then two dribbles so like it was not complicated at all mm -hmm. it was just a lot of makes mm -hmm. and i was i was probably 90 percent hitting on these shots and it still probably took me two and a half hours in the gym to do this morning workout mm -hmm. i'm exhausted i'm drenching wet yeah like just and it was supposed to be then go back, eat something, go to the track, do sprints, go back, then go do weights, then come back at night and do another workout like that. Yeah. And I'm like, there is no way <laughs> yeah, you keep that, that you can possibly do this. Ooh, I mean, I was hitting shots. If yeah. I wasn't hitting shots, yeah, I would've would been there for like imagine. four hours. Yeah, imagine. At least. So what, like, so did you guys go through this during that three day workout? No, no, the, the workouts that we did during those were more just, uh, well, actually, like, so the first day, the first day that we're there, uh, you don't mind me telling this story. No, we, no, this no, no, no. Okay. I want to know it. exactly okay. what Please. happened in those three the first days. I'm trying to get better. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need that email, Pete? We all need that email. <laughs> the first day that we get there, I'm there with my assistant coach, Johnny Bryant. He said to meet, meet us at the gym at seven o'clock, um, gave us the address. 
And so I don't know what's what's about to happen, but I know that Kobe's crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking this he could have me run around this gym. I gotta be well fueled. Mm-hmm. We're up at five thirty, me and my assistant. We're eating a good ass breakfast. Yeah. Okay. And then we're getting to the gym and we're there at six fifteen, like early. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't want him to be there. You heard everyone's heard the stories right. that I'm talking. So but it what we showed up at this elementary school and it's like no one there. And we're walking around like, this is not a good look, us walking around this early a.m., <laughs> this elementary school. No one's there. We look, we go into the gym. Gym is locked. And we're walking around like trying to find a way in. Again, this doesn't look good. Yeah. And a janitor opens up the gym or, op- or comes to the door. And is like, what are you guys doing here? And we're like, we're here to see Kobe. And he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no, for real. Like he said to meet us here at seven. And thankfully I'm tall or else there's no way yep. he would have believed yeah. us. But he's like, you know, if Kobe, if I would believe you, but if, if it was really Kobe, he would already been here. So, but I, you know what, I'll, I'll open up the gym for you. So open up the gym. The gym was being redone. There's no lines on the court. It's just like the hoop yeah. and like the wood. And the wood, yeah, the floor. And so then we're in there, we're shooting around. I'm stretching out real good and everything. And 6.45, no Kobe. 7 o'clock, no Kobe. 7.15, no Kobe. And I'm thinking like, okay, should I text him? Like, what should I, should I call him? Yeah. 7.30, no Kobe. So we're like, <laughs> all right, let's just hit him up. See, So I text him like, hey, man, just wanted to make sure this is the right address. I've been, I'm at the spot. He's like, oh, you're there? Like, text it back immediately. Yeah. Oh, you're there? Word, I'll be there in five minutes. Five minutes later, he walks in, throws his keys off to the bleachers, doesn't say any, like, my bad, I'm late, or, yo, what's up, man? How you yeah. doing? He's like, ball. And I threw him the ball and we worked for like two hours yeah. on all like mid-range footwork. And as soon as he was done with that, after about two hours, he's like, all right, same time. Or no, he goes, all right, 5.45 tomorrow, I'll send you the address. And he dips. <laughs> and I'm like, what, he had at, a different like, address every time? <laughs> well, I'm looking at my assistant because he literally, I'm telling you, he literally like went over to the thing, grabbed his keys and left. <laughs> Wasn't Kobe's like awesome, good work. Man. So wasn't awesome. like, yo, that was really Straight good. Or like, you did great. No, he's like, I'll five forty five tomorrow. I'll give you the time and the address. So I'm thinking, like, he wasn't here at seven. How was he gonna get here at five forty five? I want right. to know why he was late. Right. <laughs> like, so was and then so the next day we showed up at the at the spot five forty five. Kobe was there before us. Um, opened up the door. Like we go in there, did another workout. He stayed after for thirty minutes. We watched film. I think he, the whole, and it was like that the next two days. Yeah. And I think the whole thing was him just like testing me. Like, who is this? Is he going to, is he, does he want to work? Yeah. Is he going to be bullshitting? Like, what's his deal? Like, I, cause I'm not going to put in the effort if he's not going right, to. Right. Type thing. Right. And, and I'm, I'm sure then, like, it was, that. yeah, I'm sure like for sure. he's, ah. he probably went back in the car, like laughing, like <laughs> 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 I got his ass.